Does the prophesy God particle really exist? In order to create this magical particle, scientists need to constantly use gas pedals for collisions, and if the experiment is successful, then mankind will gain eternal energy. However, due to the dangers of the experiment, mankind decided to conduct the experiment on a space station. The world powers together built the Shepard gas pedal, and this collision experiment involved seven countries, no matter how costly it was to succeed. At this time, they did not know that this experiment would destroy the entire human civilization. After more than a year of testing, the experiment is still going nowhere. Today, the space station has very little power left, and the experiment has only three chances left at most. However, just then, a scientist on Earth sent a warning. He believed that this would cause the Olaf paradox to occur particle collision. Experiments would tear apart parallel universes. The astronauts, however, did not agree with this, and the experiment proceeded as usual. The gyroscope was needed before starting the gas pedal, and after everything was ready, everyone began to pray for success. The captain immediately ordered the ignition procedure to start, and the Shepard gas pedal began to operate. Powerful energy collided back and forth from the machine, and the entire space station shook violently. Anna looked at the dashboard, and was excited that they had succeeded in this collision experiment. However, just when they were happy, the gas pedal suddenly lost power. Immediately afterwards, the system began to sound an alarm. The equipment reached an overload level and a violent explosion hit the entire interior of the space station, breaking the glass instantly. At this point, they had not noticed that the earth outside the window was emitting a blinding glare. The reawakened captain hurriedly inquired about the situation. Suddenly, the gravitational force inside the room actually reversed. They were attracted to the top of the wall by this force, and after a few short seconds this force then disappeared, and the team members were all tuned back to the ground. When it was all over, they realized that the communication equipment had lost contact with the Earth and the oxygen level was dropping dramatically. But what shocked them even more was that Bella, the communicator, found that the Earth had disappeared. The captain still couldn't believe it after hearing it, but the fact outside the window was in front of them. No matter how much they searched, the Earth completely disappeared into the solar system. German scientists speculate that Earth may still be there. Only the ship's positioning system resides, but the most important thing at the moment was to repair the space station. Several people dared not delay to rush into action. As they worked, however, Bella noticed that the gyroscope had also disappeared and the team's bodies began to appear abnormal. Mike's facial skin seemed to be very saggy. Just when they were wondering, suddenly a scream came from outside the house, which startled them. Immediately after, the others also heard the sound. The team followed the scream to find the source of the sound. The weird thing is that the sound actually came from inside the walls. Is there someone else in this space? Anna perked up her ears and slowly pushed up, and the screams came again. Anna was also startled by the sound. When they took the wall apart, a strange scene occurred. A blonde woman actually lying in the wall, and her body had become one with the line. This was the first time they had seen such a scene. What was even more terrifying was that the woman they had never met before actually knew Bella. They could only save the blonde woman first. After a fierce rescue, the blonde woman eventually survived. However, the bizarre events had just begun. The team member who had just had a loose face once again appeared abnormal. His eyes actually began to be uncontrollable, and his eyeballs could even act alone. Immediately after that, the man's mental consciousness also began to misfire. He actually launched an attack on his teammate. Just when the two sides were in a stalemate, suddenly the man's body produced convulsions. He then began to foam at the mouth and died while the earth which had disappeared, was being attacked by some kind of creature. The sleeping man was suddenly awakened by the sound of an explosion, and his city seemed to have suffered a terrorist attack. The man rushed to the window to check the situation, only to see a mushroom cloud rising up outside the house. Immediately afterwards, he begins to receive reports of this attack one after another. Officials, however, gave the shocking news that the attack was not caused by man. The earth had been attacked by some unknown creature and they needed to flee the city immediately. The world outside was already apocalyptic, and the man was immediately shocked by the scene before him. A large number of buildings and structures had been destroyed, and what was even more terrifying was that there seemed to be a huge monster in the dust of the ruins. The root cause of all this is the human particle collision experiment in space. At this time, a bizarre scene is playing out in the space station. The mechanic was repairing the cabin, when he suddenly found some abnormalities in the walls. Immediately after, 
his arm was actually sucked in. No matter how the man struggled to no avail, his arm had completely fused with the wall. This has obviously surpassed human perception. The team rushed forward to help. The man's arm was finally pulled out. However, before he had time to rejoice, something even more outrageous happened. His arm actually disappeared, but the mechanic did not feel pain, and not a drop of blood came out of the wound. The crew noticed the anomaly, and an arm was actually crawling around the cabin. Did they really tear the parallel universe? According to the scientists' speculation, the particle collision did cause space overlap, and the two spaces were fighting for the same body. In order to figure out why, they shut the arm inside the vessel. The arm seemed to have the consciousness of a slave, and he prompted them to want to write down clues. After handing him another pen, the arm actually told them to cut open Mike's stomach. Since Mike was already dead, they barely hesitated as they followed the arm's cue to cut open the stomach. The gyroscope that had disappeared was inside the man. With the help of the gyroscope, the ship's positioning system instantly returned to normal. It turned out that the Earth had not really disappeared. Their ship was on the other side of the sun, which caused the Earth to be invisible. After Bella finished readjusting the communication equipment, the space station finally received a message from Earth. However, a report came over the radio that Earth was in the middle of World War III. In this parallel universe, their space station had crashed two weeks ago, killing all six crew members inside. It was then that the scientists reacted to the fact that they had traveled to another world. The woman who suddenly appeared out of nowhere on the space station was none other than the astronaut from this world. Because of the success of their collision experiment, Bella this crossed over to here. In order to be able to return to her world, they must start the particle gas pedal again. But the previous accident caused serious damage to the ship. The particle gas pedal has been unable to move properly. In order to repair the equipment, Anna engineer applied for war. But the accident happened again. After closing the hatch, the cooling system of the ship suddenly abnormal. A large amount of water began to leak, and soon the whole cabin was flooded with water. Because of the water pressure, the ship eventually broke and instantly frowned sink to death. The mechanic in charge of repairing the walls also had an accident. The aft wing of the space station is full of strange events. The magnetic field is actually uncontrolled here. All the metal was actually absorbed by the walls, and the mechanic rushed to untie the safety rope on his body. However, just as he was wondering about this, suddenly the metal of the repair equipment moved. Apparently, it was also disturbed by the magnetic field. The mechanic who was curious had not yet discovered that the metal liquid behind him had come to attack. Immediately after a scream spread throughout the space station, the team also altered the sound. However, everything is too late. The mechanic was entangled in the metal. Before they could wait for the rescue, the gas tank in the cabin was also attracted by the wall. Subsequently, the entire space station exploded. Fortunately, the main module did not suffer damage but the ring at the rear of the ship had been severely deflected. If the deflection angle exceeded 25 degrees, then the entire space station would have been torn apart by it. In order to avoid involving the whole space station, a group of people can only go forward to separate the ring. At this point, the captain stepped forward, not wanting to sacrifice any more crew members. However, the accident happened again. Although the ring was successfully separated, but the captain also drifted into the vastness of the universe. Now that all systems have been restored to normal, the remaining crew members are ready to start the particle gas bell. They are about to return to Earth, but at that moment, the non-existent Bella suddenly betrays them. According to their previous plan, after activating the particle gas pedal, Bella will return to her Earth in the escape pod. She first knocked out Bella, the communicator, and immediately afterwards, Bella tampered with the ship's programming. It turned out that Bella did not want them to take the space station. She wanted to kill all the space station crew. Because her world particle collision experiment failed, thus causing World War II to occur. If the space station is left behind, it may be able to change her world. Both sides are fighting for Earth. Eventually, after a fierce fight, the heroine Bella took out Bella, at which point there were only two crew members left on the entire space station. They managed to initiate a particle team impact. As a surge of energy began to flicker, the entire parallel universe finally returned to normal. They returned to his world. Immediately after, they rushed to return to Earth in his gate pod. Those who have watched the last episode already know that the Earth is already full of monsters at this time. By the time they landed on Earth, the monsters had grown into giant beasts by this time. Their size has passed through the clouds. During the period when the astronauts did not return to Earth, what kind of experience did the Earth encounter?